Well, timing might be everything here, uh, but we're told that the heightened security in, in many U.S. cities uh, has nothing to do with this latest crackdown on North Korea and everything to do with trying to keep Americans safe, for example, in New York City for the big uh, parade and everything else as we get ready for the, uh, the Christmas season, which will add an extra week with the timing of holidays. Laura England in Herald Square, New York City, with the latest. Hey, Laura. Hi, Neil. Well, shoppers are clearly already out in force, and so is the NYPD, especially when it comes to these really large events. And, of course, the Macy's annual Thanksgiving Day Parade is no exception. In fact, it's one of our banner events here in the city of Manhattan where we see so many people. And today we heard from police and city officials about just how intense security is going to be. Over one million spectators are expected to line the parade route uh, to see the floats of the gigantic balloons we've all come to know and love and all those performers each year city officials talk about parade security but after the deadly Halloween terrorist attack in lower Manhattan which killed eight today the NYPD announced their security plans that will be noticeable we'll see those sand trucks heavy weapons teams K-9 units and aviation units all around the parade and of course there are always the undercover operations that we don't see New York City Mayor Bill de Blasio says the city is ready there will be a very strong presence of the NYPD, stronger than ever, in fact. Uh, I want to emphasize, this is the most important thing I'll say, there are no credible and specific threats against New York City at this time. There are no credible and specific threats against these events. That being said, we will have a very uh, forceful NYPD presence. And we will be prepared for any eventuality. In the wake of recent violence across the country, other cities have announced they're beefing up security around shopping centers, tree lighting ceremonies, and other outdoors events. In Pittsburgh, for instance, police there have replaced 35 cameras downtown to state-of-the-art high-def cameras. Uh, we've heard a lot of cities uh, talking about what they're going to be doing, beefing up that security, putting up mounted units and aviation units. And, of course, uh, as we say here in the fine city of New York City, if you see something, say something. And the mayor today even said there has never been a more important time for that motto to be one that we all live by. Back to you, Neil. Thank you, Laura. Very much, Laura.